Good morning. This is Kasturi Day. Today, I'll discuss the same uh, chapter, previous chapter that is health and hygiene according to ICC syllabus class eight. Okay. So I was discussing in my last video about the communicable diseases. So I'll uh, continue with that. So uh, I discuss till dengue. Okay. Now I'll start with ch chikungunya. It is also a viral infection from uh, caused by chiku. It's an alpha virus. Okay, and its mode of transmission is again it is infected by AIDS mosquito. Okay, the bite of the AIDS mosquito. It uh, the AIDS mosquito is the transmission agent, transmitting agent. Then the symptoms here are high fever with severe muscle and joint pain. Joint pain is often severe and can last from weeks to months. Okay, all together. Then headache, nausea, fatigue, and rash can happen. Okay, and the symptoms often they are confused with the those of the dengue because dengue and chikungunya they have almost the similar. Uh, symptoms okay then uh, the preventive measures is we have to take uh, we have to take medicines to relieve the symptoms okay so we come to the next that is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome okay so this acquired immunodeficiency syndrome is Uh, it is caused by human deficiency virus okay Humu human uh, immunodeficiency virus okay and it is caused by exposure uh, through blood uh, through uh, blood uh, i mean blood when it comes out through cuts or wounds it can be transmitted it can cause uh, it can infect through those okay a person can be infected from these cuts or uh, any wounds then sex sexual contact then organ transplant blood transfusion therefore mother to child during pregnancy and childbirth this can also happen during uh, the, the the this transfusion during this transfusion or from when the uh, mother is pregnant then the mother from the mother to the child it can be transferred that is hiv can be transferred aids can form then uh, the symptoms are breakdown of the immune system severe weight loss person feels fatigue and tired persistent dry cough and oral rash and shortness of breath headache visual disturbances gastric problem regular diarrhea okay then uh, lung diseases like pneumonia damage to the brain leading to memory loss due to the breakdown of the immune system the person becomes susceptible to many infections what happens as the immune system goes down in this case what happens the any can any uh, any infection can uh, infect and uh, can be uh, can attack this person the person who has hiv okay and the preventive measures are screening of the blood during transmission okay proper screening is, is needed for uh, during transmission during blood transfusion then uh, avoiding sharing and reuse of the blades needles and syringes and surgical instruments okay then avoiding pregnancy if the mother is hiv positive then uh, if the mother should avoid pregnancy then safe sex then educating people by educating people also we can stop this hiv spread okay so next we come to the vector see vector is an organism that carries the disease causing germs that is the pathogens from one from a source of infection to a healthy individual without getting infected itself okay like mosquitoes mosquitoes or anopheles or aes they carry the diseases they carry the disease causing germs from one infected person to the other normal person okay so mosquito is the vector 
so mosquitoes house flies mites as well as mammals like rats and dogs these are all vectors when these insects or mammals bite a person suffering from the diseases like malaria dengue plague yellow fever sleeping sickness or kala azar then the germs enter the body of the insect and when these insects or mammals bite a healthy person the disease causing germs are inject injected into the blood stream of that healthy person and thus causing the person infected see uh, for this what happens the uh, certain vaccines are given to protect as a preventive measure to protect the infants and child from certain diseases okay it's so like uh, uh, the infants at the birth they are given bcg and opv vaccine oral polio vaccine and uh, bcg is bacillus uh, vaccine that is given for tuberculosis okay then uh, for when the infant goes to 6 weeks if the, the uh, infant is given dpt or and opv again 10 weeks also dpt and opv 14 weeks also dpt and opv 9 months measles vaccines is given 18 months dpp o, dpt opv all those are booster doses okay then 5 years dt vaccine is given then 10 uh, years the tetanus toxoid is given 16 years tetanus toxoid is given see the uh, during birth the bcg is vaccine is given for tuberculosis and hepatitis b first dose is given okay this is done to protect the child from tuberculosis as well as uh, tuberculosis from at the time of birth immediately after the birth then 6 uh, weeks when uh, when the child is at 6 weeks dtp then opv first dose okay then hepatitis b second dose hep uh, rotavirus first dose is given pcv uh, first dose is given okay so these are given according to the uh, Uh, according to the age uh, of the uh, baby and these are given to prevent the uh, child from infection okay then again 10 weeks it, some vaccines are given okay then 14 weeks also then 6 months also the vaccines are given so that the child uh, gets protected okay and these are protected some some from uh, different diseases then how do we prevent uh, the what are the preventive measure prevention of the disease how do we prevent the diseases some there are natural mechanisms are there and general methods are there first if we come to the natural mechanisms how they maintain for maintaining the personal and community hygiene first and foremost is to maintain personal and community hygiene then avoiding unhealthy habits and lifestyle then vaccination against specific diseases like i told you the vaccines are given to the child from the childhood only from the birth only rather they are given to protect the uh, child from uh, different specific diseases like chickenpox hepatitis poliomyelitis etc then general methods by preventing exposure to infectious microbes preventing exposure to air borne microbes living uh in the, in healthy and uh, hygienic conditions okay by living in the healthy and hygienic conditions airborne uh, diseases airborne infections can be uh, prevented then by, by also by uh, we can prevent water borne diseases by clean drinking clean drinking water clean and safe drinking water then by treating water to kill microbes contamination or by boiling the uh, water drinking water we can avoid this water borne diseases then uh, preventing the vector borne diseases by cleaning our surface uh, surroundings okay so that disease carrying vectors do not flourish there okay like if we uh, if we avoid the mosquitoes breeding then we can avoid malaria dengue etc then by providing proper and sufficient food 
okay then we can build our immune system better okay immune system functions well and it can prevent diseases okay so here i stop i'll uh, continue with the rest of the uh, chapter in my next video and uh, before ending the chapter i yesterday i told you uh, i asked you one question that is what is the other name for the communicable diseases it is called infectious diseases okay now another question i want to ask today is that ringworm okay ringworm is a skin disease okay so uh what type of uh organism uh, causes this disease okay i want to know what type of organism causes ringworm it's a skin disease okay so how the ringworm is caused by which organism please let me know in my next video i'll discuss again please do write in the comment box okay and if you like the video press the like button also share with your friends and colleagues so that they can also be benefited from these videos in uh, in their uh, studies and if you are a new viewer to my channel and not subscribed yet please do subscribe to get the notification of my next video thank you